Good morning. It's uh, Dr. Bob Flower, and it's Friday, June 27th, and this is your uh, Master Pattern Report. Okay, a few things to discuss uh, economically here. Uh, we told you at the beginning of the year and uh, at the beginning of the month uh, we were buying silver and um, that the, we would see a move in silver and gold uh, in June, and uh, here we are, uh, and I'm here to report. Uh, silver in particular. On the 30th of May, uh, the low for silver was $17.91. Uh, we bought into silver at $18.19, I believe the price was. $18.29, I'm sorry. Uh, the latest uh, price, the high for silver, uh, was uh, yesterday at uh, $20.33. So, um, that's, that's about a um, 15, 16, 17 percent uh, run up uh, just for uh, the month of June. We do, um, we do believe that this is just the base uh, and that we're going to see a further run up in, in gold and silver uh, for the balance of the year. Doesn't mean it won't be pulled back. Now let, let me let me just talk to you about the, these predictions, okay? Um, first off, as I always say, and I will repeat, reality isn't what we think it is, okay? And the other uh, issue is that knowing the future is not cranked up to what people think it is, right? and this is a classic example. When we first predicted the beginning of the year, silver was somewhere around $21, $22, $21.50, someplace in there. So uh, the mistake that we all make, and I, I've made it over the years with this damn thing, uh, I've had periods where I knew exactly, like for instance with soybeans, what the top was going to be for the day, that, and, and, and three times I... I it was exactly where I said it was, and I lost money. Uh, don't ask me how that happens, but those of you who trade, uh, especially commodities uh, and options, know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are, uh, and we're talking about uh, that a gold and silver were going to um, uh, make a move up in, in June. The problem <laughs> with even knowing the future is from where. Uh, as, as I've indicated to you now, from the beginning of, from the end of May, uh, and even going back into April, we've seen lows in silver of, of $17, $18, which means it came down off of where it was and hit a bottom and now it's bouncing back. So while the prediction is accurate, uh, for me, I don't consider consider it valid, okay? Unless gold and the silver make a nice move up from here, which we think they will, you know, into into the year. Um, and and uh, there are a couple of primary reasons, um, qualitative reasons why that's going to happen, uh, aside from the patterns, the master pattern telling us so. First off. China is amassing tremendous amounts of gold, and um, they are uh, seeking to be the major gold ho holder. So that's telling me that there's going to be a move, uh, more than likely, by, by China, uh, Russia, and uh, probably uh, Brazil, and maybe, maybe even Australia, into gold. It's sometime in the future, okay? Um, maybe not totally, but as part of a base uh, currency, right? They're, they're sick and tired of what they call, you know, American imperialism and, and, and uh, stupid American capitalism. Um, and by that I mean the way the country is being run economically now. Uh, and they're going to take advantage of it, okay? And it's a huge, huge profit. So um, my uh, uh, my inclination is that 
gold and silver are going to start a, a, a bull run have already started and that we're going to see some some um, some dramatic moves and here's the second reason inflation inflation is here but uh, the way uh, our governments are um, depicting the true economic picture is not is not valid it's 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 it's, it's false um, uh, private enterprise studies are showing real inflation at around four percent the government is saying is somewhere less a little less than two percent so when that starts to hit and it's starting it's starting to show now already it's it's coming it's coming to fruition where uh, the economy the people are starting to recognize that uh, the um, uh, the data that we're receiving is skewed okay and that uh, inflation is here uh, and boom okay so when that happens you're going to see a number of your hard assets such as gold and silver uh, escalate and you and you'll, you it'll be a push because uh, because it, it'll be a sudden um, uh, a, a sudden factor that will come into play all at once People will say, will pick up the paper or listen to the television, and they'll say, um, inflation is now at 4% or 4.5%, and uh, chances are that it, that it has been that way for a while. And that's enough to scare the living hell out of any market, okay? So that will more than likely cause a decline in the, in the stock market, uh, at least temporarily anyway, uh, and a um, rapid uh, uh, escalation in your in your hard assets, in, including oil, by the way. So that that's not that's not good for the economy. So that's another reason. The third reason is the instability of uh, the uh, uh, the U.S. government and the weakness of uh, other governments. We've we've seen what's happening in Ukraine, and you're about to see it happen with uh, uh, with, with China as well, uh, and more on that. In a, later. But the uh, breakdown of law and order in the United States is uh, starting to scare a lot of uh, major players. I think that even people who, if you believe in conspiracies, even people that were behind uh, the movement of wealth to other areas of the world where they have major interests, uh, uh, the way in which it's happening is, 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 is of, of concern even to them. So uh, the uh, one of the best havens, of course, there uh, is gold and silver and, and, your, and your hard assets. So those are just some of the uh, pragmatic uh, uh, feelings, uh, senses for why uh, we're going to see some, some pretty good moves with the, uh, with the gold and, and the silver. And as I've said a number of times, what's going to do this country in is a total breakdown in law and order. Uh, Mr. Obama got his head handed to him uh, by the Supreme Court once again, and uh, you know which is which is good for the country. Um, uh, the Republicans are acting like Democrats, uh, so uh, there's there, there's this sense of revolt growing, and I'm going to say it again: uh, the quickest, easiest, and best way is throw them all out, every single one of them continue that process until they get the message and they cut the crap right uh, because this is not uh, this is not go government of the people and by the people and for the people this is government for those who are elected so uh, we, we want to change that whole um, genre in their thinking and the best way to do it is this exactly what happened to Eric Cantor let's do it let you see how that shook up everybody let's do it Let, let's 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 throw out four or five more I don't care whether they're Republicans or Democrats when they see what's going on believe me it's not going to be oh good people are now against the Democrats or oh, that's fine but, you know Republicans are starting to prevail no it's the people are starting to prevail and until we get it into our heads and go to the booth and, you know, it doesn't take much. You go to the booth, you take your sweetheart to the booth, you take your kids, your mom, your dad, 
and maybe a cousin or something like that. And all, all of a sudden, you got eight or ten people going to the booth saying, out. And if enough of us do that, and this may sound very um, unrealistic, very naive, but that's the way things happen. That's the way dreams come true, my friends. Okay, so um, what do we think? We think that uh, the market, uh, although it's showing some weakness here, we think it's going to pick up until such time as the uh, this this news starts to hit. Um, I, I, I'm looking for a move in silver uh, next week on the second, um, July second. I'm looking for a move uh, in the uh, Nasdaq uh, Monday, the thirtieth. And I also want to give you a, a little stock here, a little um, ELF, uh, Mexico ELF, which I, I, I just purchased and I like it a lot. The stock, it, uh, the symbol, the symbol is EWW, EWW, all right? Take a look at it, maybe buy a few shares, play with it, I think you're going to see, I think you're going to see some nice pro progressive movements in the stock uh, over, over the next uh three, four, five months, okay? All right, so that's it. We're going to be back to you uh, next week uh, with some uh, some uh, very interesting pattern discoveries that we made, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to you before uh, July 4th. Keep your powder dry, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.